Now, we crashed the last time, but I don't think it was that late in the day, really. So, I'll look at the objectives. I think we had all the missions done. We were just walking around looking for horse radishes and talking about EVE Online. So, I would like to pick up from that conversation. Hopefully, my computer doesn't crash. Ah. Let me bring you all over here. All right. As soon as we hop on the farm, I'm continuing my conversation. Hopefully the microphone's okay. <laughs> Y'all probably heard that, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. But yeah. Hopefully the mic's okay. We're chilling, we're vibing, we're having a good time. It's Saturday night. And we're back at it like we never left. Alright, so I was I was worrying that we had to do something for Clint. I guess that is. And we oh yeah, we put the dandelion in the community center, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, Robin sent us this. And we need a water crap. I didn't watch the... I would have watched it, but just time <laughs> just got away from me. I got some... I got a dash cover for the... The wings. Of the hawk. A.K.A. the car. So, because the, the car when I got it, it's a used car. Because I'm not going to get scammed. But it's a used car. And I guess the user just left it in the sun so long without any dashboard protection that the dash started melting itself. So it was all sticky and runny. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, crap. Uh, sorry about that. Something popped up. With the fam, but... Yeah. So the dashboard melted in the sun. <laughs> And it's runny and drippy, so I had to get all that crap off and then put a dash cover on it. It's incredibly cheap. It's not like a fix like to my vehicle in any way outside of Velcro. So there, there are just these small Velcro strips, probably the size of like your finger, your index finger. They don't have any grip or anything like that. So. Oh yeah, I saved the golden potato. Look, I'm back in it. They don't have any grip, anything like that. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I gotta put the dandelion in there. So it's, just, it's basically just a carpet on the dash. Am I looking... Pierre's is closed on Wednesdays. We all know that. I don't even need to look at the weather report. I'm pretty sure the spirits were annoyed. So we can go fish or something. I don't know. Oh, because uh, the fishing part of the community center is the worst part ever. Or if you played Stardew Valley, you know what I'm talking about. There are all these different fish and you don't have any way of knowing if they're like in the water or not. With the seeds and the planting and things like that, you, you know that it's in the sea, so you'll stumble upon it eventually. But with fish, you might as well just guess. You just gotta fish everywhere at any time of day, and hopefully you'll get the fish that you want. If you don't want to use the wiki or anything like that. I forgot exactly where the horseradish was, too. If that's that's my only complaint with Stardew Valley. <clears throat> ah, yeah, yeah. The fishing. And. I think that's it. Really. Like, every other part of the community center is pretty much easy. Easy to complete. You just need to put the effort in. Like, the growing ones? Come on. Grow, like, five potatoes. Grow a cauliflower. Grow a parsnip. Easy. Find this ultra-rare fish that's only in, like, three ponds in the game. That's a, little, that's a little bit more difficult. At least to me. Hmm. 
Ok, ok, ok. Para. Nah. I messed it up right there. <laughs> I had to, had to maneuver around the whatchamacallit. It kind of threw me off. I got it. Hold on. I got to get the hoe on these these worms right here. I'm kind of like Jay Z on like the the Donda track in jail. Bro would bro would say one word and then he's like huffing and puffing. <laughs> if you know jail, I think yeah, that's it. The track's name jail, and the Jay Z verse. Bro's going. What's it? God in my cell. And that's my celly. <gasps> <gasps> if you know, you know. Yeah, we got the book too. Come on now, it's all coming together. I'd like to go foraging, but I don't know what they're putting in the grass nowadays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up with Linus? That's it. I don't know. Okay, well, you want a spring onion? No, don't eat it. Eating it in front of the homeless is crazy. I guess he I guess he isn't homeless, but he likes spring onions. Good to know, good to know. Let me hit up Rob and just look at the prices here. You can buy a window. It's crazy. Get birched out? Alright. Mahogany dresser, okay calendar oh 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 hold on oh workbench shoot floor tv seasonal plant doesn't need to be watered basic log stove fireplace another bed okay like that there's a lot of stuff in the stores that's new i guess Cost ten thousand, and you'll also need to provide me four hundred and fifty pieces of wood. I thought I would need hardwood too, but okay. Get the coop, okay. Get the barn, okay. The fish pond. The fish pond might be the move, honestly. Because with the the fishing thing, maybe you can get. I don't know if this gives you their resources that they make or something like that. But if we can like farm fish. Oh baby. Had to take a little sip of the potion. Cabin. Home for a friend. Subsidized by the town agricultural fund. Stable. Slime hatch. Much. People just going crazy outside my house. Horse included. Shipping bin. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Who do we really want to... I wish, like, if you, like... If you got close to people, they would give you resources. Something like that. Because, like, I'm only... I mean, I mean, I'm only, like, romancing Mario for the... For the whatchamacallit. The the like water your farm thing and i think she gives you an item if you marry like let mayor lewis i don't know like lower the prices on buildings on my farm like one time so like instead of a hundred gold coop or whatever it was make it like 75 gold or 50. something like that if i get in close to grandma i can get like cookies and they're the best like energy item in the game or something i don't know I do enjoy the cutscene. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say there's nothing for like getting good relationships with people, but I also want you know something to bite on. I don't know, like maybe if you, if you talk to her and you get her like hearts up or whatever, she'll give you cookies. 
He's got to keep talking to her. I don't know. I'm not concerned, Abe. Let's head up the library, see what... What's inside these books that I keep finding. Oak Woods Mountain are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas so that the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know the secret of cultivating wild food so that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so forage items can pop up on your farm now? Because they could never do that when I was playing. Find wild pro- Okay, well I already- this is a book by Marnio. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. All right. Oh, they're giving you little tips, I see. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow multiple seasons. For example, corn. Some crops such as kale and wheat need to be harvested with the scythe. Okay, okay. Like this is this is really just game for all y'all that don't really know anything about Stardew. Can I can I please read this book here? Alright. The Fisherman Act. <laughs> Don't tell me this is a store. Tex, Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. Gordy, you must make the choice to become a true fisherman, and over time, your fishing speed will increase. So you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish faster? Correct. One day, you may even learn the secret of creating your very own boppers, improving your mastery even more. Now be gone. Or dismissed him. I'm, I'm not going out like that. If I'm Gordy. I was Tex. Whatever. Do I have to give something to Maru? I think it goes... Yeah, I think the gift system is a weekly. But let, let's circle back to what I was talking about last stream. Alright. EVE Online. So, there's a player-ran economy, and what I mean by that is that players create things in the economy and sell them to each other. Now, you can think of multiple ways how people can make money off of that. I, I trust that you're... That you don't need me to explain them to you. But I was an industrialist who makes item in, items in these markets and trades them to other players. Now, it's it's not common for... I didn't even get the horseradish. But it's not common for people to have player-ran economies in their video games. So I'm just going to explain the basics of what I was doing to make money in EVE Online. So essentially I would take raw products like the same way that companies and factories take raw products to create finished goods. So like, I don't know how a factory will take, uh, a factory will take like quartz and crap like that and refine it into a circuit board. Some very simple. I would do the same thing. I would take like titanium and other uh, minerals and I would create ammunition or I would create uh, like hybrid cannons and things like that because it's all about war and EVE online. Just like it is in real life. So I would make things like that. I would make ships. And when the price of getting those materials, because they made mining those materials harder in the game, when the price of those materials went up, because there were less of them, well, then I really couldn't turn those raw products into a finished good and make a profit. Hope you catch my drift here. So when that happened, and you can't make a livelihood anymore, like, you know, I quit the game because I didn't. It's not like I live in EVE Online. Let me talk to Maru just for the relationship bonus. Tuesdays, Thursdays, I, I have work at Harvey's clinic. He said he's like, he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire. 
Okay, okay. Miss Independent. <laughs> if you know that Neo song, you're a real one. All right, I, I need to know that you know it too, just to rep for the flock. <laughs> All right, we got the bundle complete. Spring seeds, I'll take it. This is kind of like us going to Pierre's, honestly. And if you don't know the song I was talking about when I stopped talking to Maru, look up N-E-Y-O, Miss Independent. And then listen to one of the best songs ever made and then come back and thank me. Yeah, Spring Crops. Yeah, we, we just gotta do that later. Quality Crops Bundle. I knew it. It's not potatoes, but still. All right, I'm, I'm going to try and hit those parsnips. Hopefully. And then this is the fishing one, isn't it, over here? Yeah. Okay, well, they kind of give you kind of clues how to get them. But some of these are like it has to be raining or it has to... I don't... You know what I'm trying to say here. All right. We're going to go on the farm. We're going to get a bunch of fertilizer. We're going to plant all these seeds and hopefully we get five golden parsnips. I'm really just trying to make five golden crops, crops that are gold on my farm because on the nest farms, is that, is that what it's called? The nest farm, yeah. The nest farm, we prioritize quality over quantity. That's my farmer voice. She's got her own thing. You might as well just sell all these flowers. Oh, these things give you health and crap and energy. The daffodil doesn't, so that's getting sold. Ah, it's 7 p.m. Man. I'm still going to try and get these seeds in the ground. I need a better way of getting sap. Just for the fertilizer. Miss Independent, won't you come and spend a little time? Man, y'all don't know. Y'all too, y'all. <laughs> you don't get any sap. What's that? Nine fertilizer? Aye, aye, aye. Might as well get as many as I can into the ground. Is there like, can I make a tap? Does the tap give you sap or does it just give you like the syrup inside the trees? I, I don't know what's going on out there. Won't you come and spend a little time? Well, now that we know we need golden parsnips, I'm going to spend almost all of our money on parsnips. Just because we only have the basic fertilizer and not the more advanced stuff. No, let me, yeah. Why would you come and spend a little time? Where's my, my watering can? At least we finished the foraging bundle early in the season. That way we don't get stuck with crops that aren't going to fully grow. As we transition from spring to summer. Ten. Hold on. Eight. Oh 
okay, okay, okay. Let's eat like a spring on you. Whatever there. Yeah, let I mean, we don't need a lot of energy. I think that'll actually do it to water the rest of these. Might as well just put the rest up. All right. Level two farming. All right. The mayo machine is crazy. <laughs> Oh, good lord. We might have to... We might have to buy that backpack, though. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. 